Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been like four days, no video. Still got this. Bar and chain oil is in there. Someone told me, don't put bar and chain oil in the store. See, I do the exact opposite. People tell me. I was just seeing if it leaks. Doesn't leak. Get that Home Depot, eleven ninety nine. It's a pretty decent price. It's just like mortar oil, but it's more tacky. Uh, back to playing gas cans. What else we're we gonna say? We we're gonna go make fun of, be a lie, and say I can't make videos. I cut myself with the chainsaw. This thing's very hard to start. Um, I wonder why they make compression releases on the larger models, which I might buy one if I find a deal on it. Doing gas cans. I got people are joking. It looks like I got a gas can family over there. It's like those little plastic uh, Christmas decorations you used to get back in the day. You know, the little plastic people. They're all over your lawn. Yeah, I had a bunch of them. Sold to some big family out in uh, Long Island. I think they um, used them. They were the ones who bought it. My belt is getting worn. So, Midwest can. Remember I bought this thing, the spout. Someone may watch this video years later and go, I don't care about the chainsaw nonsense. I don't care about your spout. This is the deal. These stupid new EPA things, I was just thinking, because it's 80 degrees outside, I start thinking when it's 80 degrees. Stop thinking when it's 90 degrees. You have to push down on it, right? But you need two hands. Excuse it. But you need two hands to do it because they put this stupid spring inside of it. It's still going to piss all over the place, you know, when you use this, you have to use the funnel. But it's still, it's way more easier to use the gas can when that spring's out of there. You only need one hand. You push it down, you go like that, like it's going to flow. Your other option is what I was going to do too. I was going to drill this out, like drill a little hole through there. So it would flow all the time, but then I was like, eh, it's kind of a cool safety feature, you know, if if the gas can flips over when it locks like that. But, you know, obviously, you know, it's doing the same thing like the spring did, but you just have to go like that. Take the spring out. Want to know how you take your spring out? I got, I don't know, God knows how many more cans. I'll modify the other big one over there. I'll take that one down. Give me a second. But basically, all it is is that you got a hard surface say I put a stupid top on this toolbox I still gotta find a table somewhere someone find me a table send it to condo land it's like 30 I don't know 30 something by whatever I'll chop it down I need a nice thick butcher block but you push down a hard surface when the springs in it then you just work off this o-ring with a screwdriver and the whole thing comes apart I'll show you that's a blitz can, by the way. Six gallon and 16 ounce. Look at the price of these things. People sell them for used, like $35, $40 plus shipping. I actually had a five gallon one. I saw an old picture. I was going to make a video, that memory lane video with the uh, landscape. I still might put it up with antique equipment that I used to have. And someone still has it, which is pretty cool. But that. Um, extension cords more by the day yeah that was pretty cool but this is our other six gallon can and if I get past my garage someone else will remake this video like they usually do like my video with um, checking brake pads with the wheel and they have like millions of views and thumbs ups and I get like nothing but that's just how life is sometimes go cry about it I'm not crying about it so this is another six gallon can Remember Kmart, they screwed up. They gave me two six gallons when I ordered um, seven, five gallons. They gave me two six gallons, five, five gallons, but I don't care. But this is the other style, not modified. Again, we're going to try to drill a hole in it. Hold on. This is a little shaky and shit. But you see this thing, you got to push down and you got to hold it like that. You see it goes back. Very annoying. Hold it. So when you're pouring gas with this, you either have to hold it with your thumb, which is extremely uncomfortable like that, or put it against something like a hard surface, which, you know, that's safe, it'll slip on it. You're putting a lot of pressure on this piece and your gas can, that's just retarded. Seriously, when I say that, I don't like really using that because some people really have issues, me included, I have some sort of issue <laughs> on paper, uh, kind of. Alright, so now we gotta take this o-ring off. Just pry it off. 
this is gonna be hard to do. I need a tripod and I need another set of hands. I'll basically work this freaking thing off. I'll show you how if I can. Yeah, hold on. If I had a really, I got a big tripod, hold on. Believe it or not, I found a tripod. I never use a tripod in my videos because this particular one I used, I found it in a trash like years ago. And someone else robbed it in my house, so they always use it. So push that down, hard surface. See a little O-ring? Then use a screwdriver. Don't wreck the O-ring. If you do, you can just get another one. So you pull it, pull that O-ring off, you see? Watch this magic over here. It's gonna all come apart. The O-ring's holding this whole assembly together. Look. See the spring? Taking that out of there. The spring, gone. Then you push this thing back together. Push down your little red piece. It's sticking out again, you see it? See this you can actually drill, I'll show you. Well this, I was going to drill it right here. I was going to drill a small hole, but they make it, I guess they did this on purpose. So you would kind of have to like maybe drill it over here on an angle. And then maybe come in over here and then maybe you can do the same over there. You're going to need like two holes. But I don't know, I'll try it this method. If I ever fill it up with gas, then I'll modify it. But this is getting that spring out of there. What a difference. But anyway, you put this piece back together. This should really be an O-ring between these two things because with these stupid EPA nozzles, gas will piss from the seam over here. That's why I recommend using a funnel. Stretch this O-ring back on. And there you have it, look. Modified, no freaking spring. That makes it so much easier to pour. So that's how you do it, not the only Midwest brand only, not sure about the others, and if you're watching this and you just spilled gas all over the place and you're blaming me on your misfortunes, no you can't do that because you are in control of your life, I am not in control of it, so you cannot blame me on your problems, and put the cap back on, you can store it, this cap by the way also fits over here. So that's it. Someone will write in the stupid comments, video starts at this time. And then someone else will write, I don't care about your extension cords and your other stuff. And But this is all related. This is all related to what happened and what spawned the gas can collection because of the great power outage. And that will happen anywhere. So you need fuel for your power generating equipment. And with this, you will have easy pouring fuel and no need to buy this crap like I did don't need to buy it when you mod the other cans I think this will work just fine with a vent and I have vent kits somewhere but that is all and then you can get these cool nifty springs I don't know what you want to do with them but you can do something with them you can make little vibration isolators they're pretty thick I don't know So. Let's go do some more, but look at that man, what a freaking difference. This is so much better. Just beep. Go pour. I don't think the pressure of the fuel is going to close it on you. If it does, you know, you can just hold it where you're done or something and it's so much easier, you know, holding it like that than, you know, putting all that pressure on. Let's test it out. That's my fix though. I was just thinking about that. It always take stuff apart. Same like on the old Blitz cans. I won't even show it though. I take the safety valve off and I'll show it. Hold on. Alright, Blitz can. This whole garage reeks like gas too and I don't think it's the gas can. I think my car, the um, EVAP line might be broken on the Impala. Possibly on the wagon too. I don't know. But this can was made in like 2000... I think it was actually 2010. I think so. So it had this stupid EPA nozzle on it. Some call it the Obama nozzle. But then when people argue, the Obama fans, they go, no, Bush signed it. Like this, like, R134A is being banned. I have to go, well, less production. I have to go buy another cylinder of it and spend money. Uh, so this was a stupid nozzle that was on this thing, on this can. And I just happened, either junkyard finds, I don't know where I found these things. I found a bunch of them, though. Just this part. It's the plastic part, not the collar. Not the collar. Only this part I found. So, I don't know 
how would I happen to get those? But luckily I did because you find those on eBay. They're like so much money. Um, so here we go. Is that that collar used to be on here? But you take this whole thing apart. You take the green off. Oh, it's like that. I think I did scratch my toolbox. Hold on. All right, back at this. You take the green off. This the clip. Then there's some other little piece over here you take off. Then there's a little other thing over here. You take this off with that. And then you can shimmy shammy and you save this collar because I didn't have it. This collar actually is a little bit wider than the typical blitz can collar. You kind of see it over there. but Maybe over there you can see it. It has a little more rock to it, but it still works. And then, so you put this on. You throw this away or save it. I'm probably going to try to sell that shit. But then someone will say it doesn't work and blah, 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 blah. So I probably can't. And yeah, you can put that thing back on. Screwing sounds. And there you go. Sweet. You put your yellow cap on. And you're good. So that's how you do that. Just look for junkyards. If you have a junkyard in your area, a lot of times you look in all the cars, you'll find gas cans. I gotta go back there and look for some more. If you're friends with the junkyard people, they just give you free cans. Or they just kind of sneak it out. Put it by your tool bag. Don't tell them I did that though. Usually I tell them, hey, what about this gas can? And they go, eh, ah, just take it. See, this is that other stupid thing with the valve. It's trash, dude. Total trash. And you can't even, like, take this valve out on this can because then it's going to piss out gas over here. I think removing the spring on the blitz can was a smart idea. But that's that. Let me see how that works out. But that's how I solved that issue. I'm happy I figured that out. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but it's just been 95 degrees out forever, and now it's only 80. So, have a good one. Like this video, whatever, if you want to. Um, you can go bitch about when the video was long or something else, like everything else. Like, I'm your problem in life, or everyone else is your problem. And yeah, done. Oh yeah, and that's the chainsaw. That's the gas cans. I can mod the muffler on this thing too. You take it apart, you pour it. It drilled with the catalyst and I say it makes a bunch more power. Might do it. Gotta see if it runs first. Maybe tomorrow I'll start it. Finally. Gotta stop waking up at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> they come from all over to get to Connell Land. It's by a rental.